Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back to Too Much Tech. And in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at Astro's first entry into the premium controller market. At this point, I'm wondering why we haven't got an Xbox version, but yeah, this is their C40 TR PS4 controller. So the first thing that I wanna talk about in regards to this controller is just how customizable it is. Like it's, it's actually insane. Number one, you can go into the software and customize like literally anything about the controller, except for the stick tension, but that's not really a big deal to me. I kind of like the lack thereof of stick tension. I feel like it gives me a little bit more range of motion, and a lot more free, where I don't really feel like I need control freaks. But anyways, you can change individual stick sensitivity. This thing even has a built in like almost like a mix amp and an equalizer that you can control through the software as well so that when you plug in your headphones you actually get some really good audio and it does sound better than the stock ps4 controller you can easily switch out the thumbsticks the thumbstick placement and the d-pad placement all you do you just unscrew the little top plate off well you can change that as well and you can set it up as either a playstation layout an xbox layout probably something really weird but i don't know if it works if you move both the thumbsticks to the left side of controller i don't think that works but you can try it you know if you're weird like that you got remappable rear buttons that look pretty similar to the way that razor implemented them into their controllers you've got trigger stops that are really easy to switch on and off you've got two different profiles that you can set up within the software so if you play two different games that are both your main you can have a profile for each of them and then you can also play wired or wirelessly the best thing about this controller probably one of the reasons why it costs so much this thing is hands down the most comfortable playstation 4 controller there is honestly it's the most comfortable pro controller there is this is more comfortable than an xbox one elite controller more comfortable than a scuff vantage more comfortable than a scuff 4ps more comfortable than the razor controllers this thing feels just like an an Xbox 360 controller like it's the best in terms of feel how they do it they have like a really big not I'm not gonna say bulky because it doesn't feel bulky everything feels like it's in the correct place how they're able to do it they use soft touch plastic with a matte coating and then rubberized grips on the back side of the controller the size of the controller is really good the only problem that I kind of have with the build quality of the controller is just the weight it's kind of hefty and I wish that there was a way to remove the rumbles to make the controller significantly lighter but other than that like I said it feels just like an Xbox 360 controller. The triggers and the bumpers both feel fantastic. The thumbsticks are nice. You can swap them out if you don't like the stock ones. They include a few in the really nice carrying case that they give you as well. And it's just really, really easy to set up the layout that you want. Now, I did mention that you can play this controller in wireless and wired mode. So obviously if you play wired, you eliminate pretty much all input lag that you would normally get through using like a DualShock 4 controller and having your phone's Bluetooth nearby or anything like that. Like this is 10 times better. The way that they do it, Astro, they do use a dongle and it is kind of annoying that they use a dongle, but once you actually play with it, you're like, wow, it's worth it to have it not based from the internal Bluetooth controller on the PlayStation because this is 10 times better. It's so much more responsive. You don't get any of that weird input lag that sometimes you get with a PS4 controller and you got like, I know nowadays we all have Bluetooth devices that sit close to our set as we got them in our computer and our laptop and our iPad and our cell phone. And that all can and does interrupt the Bluetooth controller on the PS4 because quite frankly, it's not that good. So Astro to give you the option to play wired they included a nice handy dandy dongle that works like magic. The battery life is fantastic. It's rated about 12 hours. I was using it, I didn't use it for 12 hours straight, obviously, but when I was using the controller out of like the four or five play sessions that I used it, I didn't really have any issues with the battery life, the controller yelling at me, telling me it's about to die, none of that. It worked fine, the battery is good. It will last you probably if you play five, six hours a day, probably two or three days. Now, don't get me wrong. This controller is really good, but there are a lot of things wrong with it. There are quite a few things that I think Astro could have done better with this controller, and then some stuff that isn't 100% their fault. Number one, this controller is expensive, and the PlayStation 5 is coming out at some point next year. I hope that Astro is able to send out a firmware update or patch or something like that that will make this controller compatible with the PlayStation 5. That would be fantastic. Reason being, because one, it would be the first pro controller to be available on the PS5, and 
you don't have to worry about changing controllers going from one platform to the next, which is really nice for competitive players. Two, this controller only comes with a six month warranty. I really would hope that you think that this controller is extra durable and is gonna last way longer than six months if that's the only kind of warranty you include. So I do highly recommend that you buy this controller from like Best Buy or Amazon and get like their kind of store insurance just in case something happens to this outside of that six month mark. You can't turn on your PS4 with this controller, which is weird. It's not the worst thing, but it is kind of annoying. And there are three things that I think that are like major cons with this controller. So one, this is a big one. This is the biggest one. You only have two inputs on the back of the controller. You don't have four. That's kind of an issue because nowadays, most of the competition is giving you four, or at least the option to have up to four. In Scuff's case, they give you more. So for me, that alone disqualifies this as a Fortnite controller, like on the very bottom of the totem pole, without those four inputs on the back or you know top back of the controller or whatever, without those four inputs, this is not a very good Fortnite controller. But this is really good for like Call of Duty, Apex Legends, any other game, just not Fortnite. Because Fortnite, you need a lot of inputs. You need to be doing a lot of things at one time. And not having those inputs is really, really crucial and detrimental to your gameplay. You can't remove the rumble, so that makes the controller like incredibly heavy. That's kind of annoying. And then also when you swap the modules, First, I thought this thing was kind of defective because when you swap the modules, you get like this insane stick drift. Like it's really, really annoying. But the way to fix it is not a horrible or really hard way to fix it. Basically, you just have to hold the back button on the controller for about six seconds. It'll vibrate twice and then the sticker drift will stop. Basically, you just have to reset the modules in the controller. And it's not the hardest thing to do, but it just wasn't very apparent how to figure that out. It took me like maybe 10 minutes of searching. I looked online and then I found a little video after they kind of explained how to get rid of the stick drift and reset the modules for the controller and then it worked. So it's cool how they had a video already made online by the time I was looking for it, but I don't know if they had that out on day one. So just remember that when you swap out the modules, make sure you reset the controller. Not fully reset, but just reset the modules. So after all of that, I know that was like a lot of info because this is a pretty complex controller. Do I think that this controller is worth the $200 price tag? I don't know, man. Like I really feel like this, this should definitely be a 150 controller. Cause if you think about it, let's just say that you're buying this, you're buying some A40s. That's 300 bucks right there if you just get the regular A40s that don't come with the mix in, which I think is sufficient if you're playing on PS4, which is what this is for. That's if it was $150, it's $200. So now you just spend $350 on a pro controller and headset setup. That's a lot of money. The build quality is superb. The feature set is fantastic. The, the customization is literally like nothing else in the game in terms of simplicity and how easy it is to do and anybody could do it. But the lack of four paddles on the back being the biggest thing and the fact that it's pricey and the PS5 is coming out within the next year. I don't know. I don't know. It's really up to you. Depends on how seriously I guess you're taking Modern Warfare when it comes out in the next couple of months. But do I really think that this controller is worth 200 bucks? Eh, if you want it, you can buy it, I guess. <laughs> but I do think that there are better options for less money or either significantly less money. In terms of durability, I would probably buy this controller over a scuff just because this controller does feel like it would last longer than a scuff controller. But the, like I said, the space is still extremely competitive and Razer has some pretty good offerings for around the 100 to 130, $150 mark for the PS4. So maybe I will look into those as well. But that is gonna be it for this video today, guys. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you guys are new. Be sure to use our Fortnite creator code, Too Much Tech, to help us out buying all these products and all that stuff. This one, fortunately, I didn't have to buy. My boy TNT let me borrow this controller, so shout out to you, George. But if you guys are interested in purchasing this controller, I will have it linked below on Amazon. Make sure you check out our socials and subscribe to the channel, like the video, join our discord blah 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 wow too many shameless plugs <laughs> drop a comment if you guys have any questions like the video subscribe i'll catch you guys in the next video